This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show, and I just want to give everybody an example of two two raw foods that I like, two different types of raw foods that I like, but also at the same time, uh, why one raw food is healthy and one raw food isn't. Because when people mention raw food today, uh, they think it's a panacea and it's automatically going to cure every illness out there. And I often tell people that raw food diet is not a panacea. As a matter of fact, I don't even promote a raw food diet anymore because the majority of the raw food out there today is not healthy for us. And it might be a fun food, it might be a snack food, but it's not healthy. But it, just because it's much less worse than something like GMO or something that's cooked, it doesn't mean it's automatically healthy. So I'm going to give you two, two examples of two different types of raw foods that I like, uh, but the difference of them. So one of them is, I don't know how this is going to show on the screen, but this is a, a soursop. It's green and I'm on a green screen. I don't know how it's going to show. Uh, but this is a soursop. So this is a soursop fruit, also known as uh, guanabana. Very good for cancer. It's a fresh food, fruit. Uh, and it's a fresh food. It's raw, ripe, fresh, and organic. I'm going to open it up, eat it. It's going to digest well. It has a tremendous amount of nutrients uh, and, and things, that, phytonutrients that my body can use and help. And it's going to digest well. There's going to be very little waste left over. And the waste that is left over because this uh, fiberness will come out and it'll be fine. Now, here's another example uh, of a food. These are crackers. I, I got these yesterday at a health food store. And these are flax crackers, and I love this. I'm going to eat this. I love it. But there's a big difference when we mention raw food between something like this and this, or any fresh fruit. There's a big difference. This is a fun food. It's not a health food. We need to remember that if you want to be healthy on a raw food diet. And anyone that's dealing with an illness or a disease shouldn't be touching these fun foods or these snacks. You should be focusing on these real foods. Okay, a food is supposed to have a life process to it, a ripening stage a, and a rotting and a freshness stage and a rotting stage. And that's what real food is. You know, I often use a Twinkie as an example. You can have a Twinkie on the shelf for about 20 years and it'll still sit there and it'll be fine the same way because it's, it's, not, it's not real food. You know, real food has a life process to it, has a life. That's why I call it live food. It's live and it brings life to us. So there's a big difference between the raw food candy bars you might find out there. And I'm not saying never do them. I'm not saying uh, they're, they're, they're going to create a disease in your body. I'm saying they make it harder to digest because they're not just, they're just, they're not really live. I mean, unless you could sprout them, but they're just not what they should be. And they are fun foods, but when you get away from cooked food, sometimes you just want that feeling of something like a bread or some kind, something heavier, a heavier feeling. And that's what these foods might help with, is something like that. But for the most part, you want to eat as light and as little as possible while getting the most nutrients. It's the key to health, from a diet standpoint, is eating or, or getting uh, eating as little as possible, but getting all the nutrients out. So eating less, but getting but eating eating as little as possible, so there's less waste, but getting all the nutrients. Using the least amount of energy to get the most is the answer. Versus what the average person does out there, they eat foods that give them uh, the least amount of energy and they take uh, well, the least amount of nutrients and it takes the most amount of energy to get it. That's what we want to avoid. And that's what uh, a lot of cooked food does and that's what this type of food does. And if you eat this type of food, if 90% if of your diet is raw, ripe, fresh, and organic and 10% is this, okay, you'll get away with it. But don't do it the other way around, folks. Remember, give your body the things that are going to give us the most while taking the least amount of energy to get it. Not... Take the most energy to get the least. And then you'll understand uh, better about health. I have a talk about the formula for health. You can see it on my website or get the book. And it just talks about that concept. You know, the, uh, of what, the, what it is. Power minus obstruction equals vitality. Where really health minus disease equals, equals, e equals vitality. Or where we should be or what we need to do. So <clears throat> go grab yourself. A, it doesn't have to be a, a guanabana. Go, I just picked this off a tree. That's why. Uh, and it's a pretty nice size one, but go get yourself some type of fresh fruit before you eat some bread or some something or some animal product or something else. Or just put your comments or questions below the video. Until then, have a great day, everybody. Great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.